Is this the Marigold Hotel? Do you have a reservation? No, seems great to me. I meant. No, I know what you meant. It's a long way away from one of my favorite all-time movies, American Gigolo, The Silver Fox. Richard Gere joins a veteran cast in the second best exotic Marigold Hotel about a group of seniors who find a new life and adventure in a hotel in India. And two of those seniors are Dame Judi Dench and Maggie Smith, who, by the way, have been best friends for 60 years. That's How cool amazing. is that? Now, this is the sort of movie that parents and grandparents can appreciate, but it also got us wondering, does Hollywood make enough of these kinds of movies for grown-ups? Mrs. Evelyn Greenslade. Here. Mrs. Muriel Donnelly. Was left. Well, believe it or not, this film just knocked the lusty and youthful Fifty Shades of Grey out of the top spot in England. Oh, how funny. I didn't know that. We're much sexy. <laughs> much sexy. We can offer quite a bunch of other things. We offer, you know, not quite as many shades of grey in our film, but some very distinguished heads nonetheless, I think. I don't know why I tell you anything. Because I'm older and wiser. Well, there's Dev and Tina in it, you know. Both very beautiful to look at. So there is some for young people as well, I think, hopefully. And hopefully a bit of hope for older people. 2012's original was a surprise hit, grossing $136 million worldwide on a $10 million budget. For good reason, says AARP's Meg Grant. This interesting group of people who were in their 60s and 70s who were still falling in love with each other and taking new jobs and like to party. Coming up, Liam Neeson and Run All Night, an older action hero. Listen to your father for one night. He's had this sort of reinvention. It's not only tap the, the grown-up audience, but also younger generations. Later this spring, we'll see Blythe Danner in her first leading role and a love story between Diane Keaton and Morgan Freeman. We've got uh, the extra cash nowadays and the time. We like also watching actors who are of our age entertain us. I think we, we want to support that. Well, if you want a list of more good movies for growing up, you can check out the AARP website. You don't even need an AARP card. I unfortunately don't have one yet. How about you, kid? I can loan you mine.